Can you see any dust coming off? Have a look here, Sean. No dust. Not one single drop of dust. Drop. A drop of dust. Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about and setting up this new Trend router table. It's the portable version, which hopefully I'll be able to take it on site. Um, not only that, I can bring it back in the workshop and use it. That is going to be paired up with the T14 router. Um, I think it's the most powerful one that Trend do, and this particular router comes with the start stop button also. What I am going to do is try and Firstly, put this together, put the router in it, and then set it up with the T35 Friend Hoover. I've not really had a working router table before. So what I'm gonna do now is open the box, see what we've got, and ultimately try and assemble it, put it all together, and see how it works. I've been um, tinkering around with it in my kitchen, and I finally got it done. It was a little bit tricky to get the frame done because it's hard to get your screwdriver in bits and pieces. The instruction manual, manual wasn't particularly great, but I managed to do it. We got the T14 router in there, the workshop one, the one that it comes with the power switch, as you can see here. And I've utilized that. So we did get a start stop button with the router table, not use that, but we'll use that in the ultimate workbench on the Jessen route lift. Utilize the router one and fix it to the underside of the table. So if I want to turn it on, turn it off and simply just plug that in and it's good to go. So we've got a rebate cutter in here at the moment, got the fence set up to do a rebate and the project that we're on right now, we're gonna be rebating a little corner out of all our drawer components because that's how we make our drawers, we rebate the bottom in. So without further ado, let's bring this bad boy into the workshop, give it a trial. Right, so we're in the workshop now, and as you can see, Sean is on the drawer components. Everything here is all drawer components, sides, fronts and backs. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, and Sean's done all the treatment um, using our stacking technique. If you want to see how we make MDF edges absolutely flawless um, without any fancy tools and equipment, just watch this video up in the corner right now. But other than that, we're making drawer boxes. So the way we usually do a drawer box is we rebate the underside, so that's the drawer bottom. And that lives underneath the drawer, obviously. But so we don't see the actual drawer bottom from the outside, we rebate it. What we've been doing for the past God knows how many years is we set up a fence, we run it on edge and then we flip it over and then run it again and that cuts out a corner of the drawer bottom. But we're trying to revolutionize the way we do things. Remember this router table is also gonna be mainly for sites. It's so portable, it could be in here, it could be on site, whatever. And we're just simply gonna be rebating the bottom of these components. All of them, one rebate. What I've done is I've put the router table outside and put it on my Keta workbench. And um, just to sort of rig up or just show you what it's gonna be like, imagine we're on site. All right, Sean, shall we go out and show this machine in action? All right, let's do it. Right, so before I start, I have tested a few pieces and this is what we're trying to achieve, a little rebate. We're leaving about five mil tongue. That's what we usually leave. And we've got a rebate cutter in there. It's a half inch because this T14 router is a half inch router. Nice and chunky and substantial, really, really powerful. We've got it set up to the Trend T35. So it's got auto start on it. So when we turn the machine on, the Hoover will start. It's really good as well because I just turned it on and tested it and as it turns off, it vibrates. It just goes and I think what that's doing is shaking the, the filter to get rid of all the dust off the filter to keep it clean, which I really like. But as you can see, if you walk around, Sean, and just see how it's set up. Um, we've just adapted it here. We didn't have an adapter, so that's one thing I do need to get because that is for the ultimate workbench. We've got the hose. Trend supply you with a five meter hose that just plugs directly in. And we've also got a start stop button here. Yeah, if I flick it out. Yep. I've got it set up on my Keta bench. It's good enough. And I've clamped it down just in case. And I've locked the machine. I've also set the feather board as well down to give me a little bit more purchase. So it's going to push down for me. Yeah, so I think we're good to go. You ready? Hoover's turned on. How cool is that? 
It's only leaving that little bow because I've set the cutter right to the top on its limits. But that's exactly what we need. That's fine. We'll just take the Aris off there for when we assemble the carcass. Let's go ahead and finish these last four components and then we'll show you the draw mocked up. I love the fact it's doing it in one pass also. Nice and powerful. Can you see any dust coming off? Have a look here, Sean. No dust. Not one single drop of dust. Drop. A drop of dust. I love this thing. I don't know why I haven't bought one of these before. And it's going to open up a whole world of possibilities from shaker style doors, raised panels, doing freehand work. Round over cutters, rebate cutters, anything you like really. Remember this is one pass, so it's taken out quite a bit of meat. I'm not pushing hard. And I like, look, nice and easy. And that is it. So that is the machine, all set up. We've got the trend hoover, the router table, and the router itself all working perfectly as a whole set. And to be honest, it couldn't be any better than that, to be honest, not a single bit of dust comes off. It does it all in one pass. The hoover's really, really good. It's got auto start and stop, and it looks good as well. So, shall we bring these in now, Sean? and we'll just show them the draw mocked up. Yep. All right, so there we go. We're gonna rig it up, two long sides and two short fronts and backs. They go in between. When we come to assemble these, we're gonna simply put a nice big bead of glue. We're gonna pin it and then we're gonna reinforce with two screws. And that's the way we've been doing it for a while. Uh, there's no need to biscuit joint these. There literally isn't. Um, we've been making drawers this way for 10 years and we've not had one complaint of a drawer coming apart or anything like that. Um, all right, so there you see the rebate all on the top. The front, where you can see here, that will get covered because there's a fascia going on the front here and at the back you'll never see it so there's no need to sort of do a stopped rebate or anything like that. This is the way that works for us. And that bottom simply just drops in like so, yeah. And it's as simple as that. So, not gonna keep on going on, just really, really thankful I've got this machine now. It's gonna do endless amount of things for us. The great thing about that is portability. It doesn't weigh a lot. I picked that up on my own. We could just chuck it in the van, put it on a bench, clamp it down, and you are literally good to go. So, I think we're gonna leave it at that. Um, stay tuned for more, because we're gonna be doing tons of stuff for this router table. And um, we do have a couple of fitting jobs, and we've got two bunk bed jobs coming up in a few weeks time, when I get back from holiday. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe if you liked, thumbs up, leave a comment. Always like to see comments. Um, yeah, take it easy. Ciao for now.